Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Midlife First. Today, we're going to continue this uh, beginner series. We're going to show you how to send in your film roles in for development. So down here, I have quite a few roles. We are currently at Wampo Colour Centre. It's one of our favourite places to drop off film. Uh, generally, I would say most of the film developers, more or less the same. But I think here, we get, I, I feel we get one of the best scans plus uh, value for money. Lah. And I think the turnaround time is extremely fast. Usually within a day or two, you get your scans. So we love this place. So I'm going to show you how we're going to fill up this paper. Um, for one of the roles, I'm actually going to do print as well. So those of you who are keen on not just getting scans of your images, but you want to do prints, you can do that as well at uh, Wampo Colour Centre. So for 2024, these are the prices. So usually it's about $12 for a roll of uh, 135 or 120 format film. Then of course, if you want certain different types of scans, or if it's black and white, it's a bit more expensive. Uh, of course, this is contingent on the fact that you come by soon, lah, as in the prices can change anytime. Uh, usually they're quite consistent, usually they only go up. Uh, if you're here, you can actually buy rolls of film as well. So they actually store their film in a refrigerator here and they have a huge selection. So if you're keen to try new films, I think this is an excellent place to come and just see what's available. And you can, of course, uh, ask the uncle what, what he recommends, what he likes, and then you can shoot. Uh, the uncle is extremely helpful. So actually, if you have difficulty loading your cameras or taking the film out, or you're not sure exactly how to take out the film from your camera, he's more than happy to help you. You just bring the camera with the film inside. Don't, don't accidentally open it up like I, what I did in one of our previous episodes and accidentally expose it. Okay, so usually when you send in your rolls of film, uh, you'll be given a form such as this. Inside this form, you'll fill up your details such as your name, your email address and your phone number. Alright, so I filled up the form. Uh, I put in just my name. I haven't put in my email address or this, but you should fill it up. I'm not going to put it on camera because I don't want you guys to email me nonsense. And then any other specific instructions, you can put it down there below. Let the uncle know and I think he will help you with the rest. So down here at Wombo Colour Centre, you can develop your film if they are colour negatives, they are ECN, uh, uh, if they require ECN development. And if you shoot black and white, they can develop here for you as well. Uh, if you shoot slide film, unfortunately, they don't do such development. So many of us, when we shoot analog film photography, we actually want prints at the end of the day. Usually the, this 4R is your standard print and it costs about 50 cents. Um, if you want bigger, it, of course it's going to cost you a little bit more. Or you can even do extremely large ones like that so that you can frame up the shots that you really, really love. Okay, so once you've sent in the film and you paid the money, you'll get to uh, receipts such as these. Uh, but keep these receipts because you will need them when you collect your negatives. Uh, the uncle will hold the negatives for a short while. So don't leave it for many months because then it will be discarded. I know some of you, you don't really collect back your negatives. But I think for archival purposes, it's always good to keep the negatives in case you want to make prints such as those behind me. Uh, or if there are photos you really like, maybe when you get a good scanner, you can actually scan them in yourself. We just sent in the rolls and I think this is a great uh, video on how we, the film actually gets developed. So Uncle is preparing the rolls right now. So he's putting text there so he knows which roles belong to which person so that there's no confusion or anything. And what he did is he actually took out the leader in each film role and now he's preparing it, cutting it first and then he's going to put it into the developer machine. So the process is quite automated. The, you just have to do the necessary preparation and the machine will actually do the rest. Okay, so if you look at this diagram on this uh, machine, it shows you a real-time view of how the film is being processed inside the machine. So this line actually represents our film and it's actually going to continue go down and go in, I believe, a few rounds like that before it pops out of the top here. So you can see, uh, it usually takes about five minutes for the whole thing to apparently come out. So it's really, really fast. Uh, but of course, you don't expect your film and scans to reach you so soon, lah, you know, because they have so much scans to go through. Film rolls have, all the film has been, uh, I guess, pulled out of the rolls. They will be ejected into this tray uh, down here at the bottom. So actually, you're developing multiple rolls at the same time. As a professional lab, I, I believe this saves the time because time is money at the end of the day, you know? 
So actually, if you notice, there's a cut here that actually that, uh, indicates that this is our second set of rules that we've inserted. So as one is going through the whole process of development, another role has been loaded in inside. Despite the fact that we've been shooting film for so long, you might be wondering why we don't self-develop and then self-scan. The reason being is there are different aspects to photography. We enjoy certain aspects. We love the shooting of uh, photos and film. Personally, I don't like to deal with all the chemicals, mixing and keeping the temperature constant. So machines like this, is, are, they are super fast. They do it predictably in, in, in a very controlled environment. So you know the development process is very standardized. For the C41 process, you need very standardized, standardized processes. Of course, if you send in like black and white films, you send in ECN films or films that require ECN development or even 120 films, then they are actually hand developed by the uncle on specific days. Uh, and you can see them all like all over here. You can see all the black and whites that uh, he actually just developed recently. Okay, so I guess those who've played Nokia Snake games before, this should look very, very familiar. It just looks exactly like that. Uh, so it's quite amazing. This is actually the first time I think Ian and I are actually watching this being done uh, at the back, so we're very fortunate. But for, the, for those of you who are not fortunate enough, I guess this is an interesting perspective of what goes behind in a professional film lab such as Wompo Color Centre. So I think the negative should be popping out soon. Okay, it's at the top already. You will see it just uh, exit the machine right here. So the first part is of course this leader that they attach to the negatives. Yep, so that's the freshly developed film. Okay, so once your negatives are developed and they have been scanned, usually they are placed in sleeves to protect them. So this is actually a specialized machine that where you just slot it in, it will cut it at the right spot and it will advance the sleeve further down so that you can slot it in further and continue this process. It just speeds up the whole process so that uh, the the, you get your scans and negatives as fast as you can. This is a professional lab, so all the equipment here is professional grade equipment. Naturally, you have uh, professional scanners such as this. Uh, I believe it's a Noritsu scanner. Okay, and actually, uh, since their turnaround time is so fast, you always have someone uh, by the desk scanning film that's just been sent in or freshly developed. So if you decide to print your images, it will be printed on a printer such as this, and this is a printer. Coming. All right, so I think many of us have dropped off film before and we barely spoken to the uncle before. But I think in this episode, it's quite an eye-opener because you see what goes behind uh, the process when you actually send off your film, how it gets developed, how it gets scanned, how it gets printed. Uh, I think this behind the scenes is quite an eye-opener for me as well. Even though I've been sending, for so many, sending my film for so many years, I haven't actually seen this process. If you love this uh, episode, of course, do remember to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or if there's any parts you want to see further, maybe you can do that in the next episode. Just let, let us know in the comments down below.